You'll find few stronger than Southern Miss women's basketball coach Joy Lee McNillis. Still battling lung cancer at the start of last season, she lost her father in November. Earlier this month, her mother passed away at 83. Two of McNillis's biggest supporters during her long coaching career. You know, we laid my mom to rest last this past Saturday. And she always told me when she would call and want me to come down and do something for her, I'd say, Mom, the boys, my brothers are right there. You don't have a real job. They have a real job. And I'm like, Mom, what, what do I have? She said, it's just part of your life. For 41 years, Joy Lee McNillis has lived the coaching life. The past 21 as the head coach of her alma mater, Southern Miss. It, it's a calling. It's helping them grow as young people. Yes, you have to have win games. But I think at the end of the day, you've got to be able to make a difference in their lives. McNillis led the Lady Eagles to another 20 wins last season and a run to the WNIT Super 16, all while battling lung cancer for the third time. Chemo, it's awful. I mean, we were at Old Dominion, and I was laying out on the couch with a trash can beside me. You know, in our second game in the NIT, when I had to get... Uh, IV at halftime, but they said, you don't have to go back out there. Well, yes, I am. We were getting beat. We've got to rally the troops. I'm going. In April, McNillis rang the bell, signaling her radiation treatments were complete. She knows there are more storms to weather ahead. The support from Southern Miss and around the country helps keep her going. God has a plan for me. I believe he's using me in a way to impact others' lives. I think I have, he's given me a platform to help people understand that even as sick as I was, you do not give up. You can't, you can't quit. McNillis won't be hanging up that whistle anytime soon. It's back to the grind this summer. I have no plans. Yeah. You know, when I see the writing on the wall, then I'll hang it up, but there's no plans. Coach received the Pat Summit Most Courageous Award in April. She continues to partner with Forest General's Hospital Navigation Program to provide assistance for other cancer patients in need.